vid to show the Roco 411 tank crane working with the Roco digital interface and joystick on the layout. I've just got it set up on the layout and I've got it set up here in the crane yard next to the other gantry crane system but this particular crane the lattice, one with the lattice uh, boom can only work, be worked on address number 7 using the joystick interface which is under the board. I've got it fixed under the board now. The joystick interface, where you've got the power going in one end from the transfer, a separate transformer, and you can apply. I've got a small set of wires there and a block connector, so I can, can easily connect up more cranes if required at a later date. So the thing is, if you've got two of these cranes, which I have, I've got one there and one there. They both need to be operated on address number 7 if you want to use the joystick interface. So, obviously the way around that is to put a manual switch and switch between address number 7 and address number 7 underneath the, uh, next to the interface, which I've just shown. If you've got the other Roco crane with a boom arm, the long boom arm, you can have that, this crane and the rail crane all working on address 6, 7 and 8 on the joystick and you can switch between addresses by pressing the left hand button so that's how it works so at the moment I've just got the joystick wired up to the crane on this particular one and it works quite nice everything's uh, controllable very easy on the joystick you can place things, move things around and connect that's it it just makes working the uh, working it so much easier and you can spin it slowly or move it fast. I can pull the boom uh, the boom back. Like that. And when you pull back, it's like it just would be in real life, you pull back on the joystick, press a button, pull forward on the joystick, that moves the arm forward at a slow or fast pace. Which is brilliant. Just works really well with the joystick. So, at the moment, that's just one joystick working that particular crane. And on this one, I'm just going to probably leave that connected to the ECOS and have. Well, my plan was to have a train controller gold operating this crane randomly, so moving it around, doing things just in random sort of way. That was a that was a plan and obviously I've got it wired up next to the um, the Marklin Tricks crane there which has that has its own dedicated controller that has its own dedicated wireless uh, 2.4 gigahertz controller so you can go anywhere you want to operate that but yeah works really nice let's move that there we go, can move that along. They really are nice, these cranes. I do like messing with them. But you've got to, like, say, keep on top. Make sure this, They are delicate. You've got to make sure you don't... Uh, manhandle, you know what I mean? Just work them roughly. You've got to be able to look after them carefully. and Obviously, keep on top with the servicing. Anything that breaks, you can order the parts for the Trix version and... The Roco one as well, and the rail crane. I've not tried the rail crane yet. So I've just set up the Roco digital crane. So I've got that on address number six, that crane on address number seven, and I could have the other version of that crane on address number eight, and then you can work three cranes off one joystick. So at the moment, I click the top left hand button of the joystick that swaps between cranes so at the, oh, at the moment I've got that one working uh, press the button again that one works, it swaps over to that one so you could have quite a nice little uh, set up in a yard but you'd have to have this crane isolated from the main 
track system. That's what you've got to remember when you're using a joystick interface because it's got its own power supply, you see. So I'm going to work that one. So you can work it left and right. Pull back on the arm. Works a, a hook. Press up and press the button down and pull back and that brings it up. Pull forward on the joystick, down. Trigger on the uh, joystick is the light. I've got a boom light on this, which is an added feature. And that would also, you could also take that off and have an electromagnetic pickup to use that as well. So, all works really nice. It's just so much easier to work. You're working it as if it is, uh, you know, real life using a joystick. Anyway, just thought I'd show that. So that's it. All done on that test. Thanks again for watching.